चिल्ड्रेन आर वेरी मैन्यूपलेटिव एंड जब भी उनको कुछ चाहिए ज़िंदगी में अपने लाइफ में अगर कुछ खिलौना चाहिए या आइसक्रीम चाहिए एवरीबडी डज मकारी एंड झूठ बोलता है जो तो अभी भी बोलता है शी इज़ गॉट अ ग्रेट कनेक्शन बिटवीन अ माइंड एंड हार्ट एंड शी इज एंड शी इज बींग एबल टू एक्चुअली टेल इट इन वर्ड्स एंड आई थिंक दैट्स अ वेरी एडमायरेबल क्वालिटी in a very subtle way she made me feel so guilty about that lie you know throwing subtle hints that i had to confess. come out and confess that i have, i went to watch a film so i mean has it ever happened to you you've been painted as the bad guy in your relationship always <laughs> <laughs> hello welcome to e times i'm here to talk to ranbir kapoor and love ranjan for their new film tu jhooti mein makkar i hope i hope uh, i mean i was very nervous i would jumble that up but guys uh, something that sort of first you know jumped at me while i was watching the trailer was that there was this slate that said uh, it's sachcha sachchi prem kahani so my first question to you both is how do you define sachcha prem or real love see uh, as far as that slate is concerned ek sachchi prem kahani was there to say that uh, it's it's a love story that you'll be able to relate to it's a love story that you have seen happening around you it's a love story that maybe you have gone through that is what it it was about it was not about we are not we are, we are not trying to preach true love hmm. right we are trying to say that you know there are different forms of love there are different types of love and there are different types of love stories and it's one of the real ones okay let me agree okay you don't want to elaborate i mean he's he's embodied <laughs> it well <laughs> okay uh, i would i'll go for jhooti and makkar now a uh, couple of questions on that kabhi life mein jhoot bolne ke baad mummy papa se daant padi hai ya maar padi hai of course agar wo hua nahi hai then aapne uh, aapka aapne childhood dekha nahi hai <laughs> i think children uh, are very manipulative uh, nadan hai but they are manipulative and jab bhi unko kuch chahiye zindagi mein apne life mein Uh, अगर कुछ खिलौना चाहिए या आइसक्रीम चाहिए एवरीबडी डज मकारी एंड झूठ बोलता है Love. जो तो अभी भी बोलता है <laughs> या मेरा तो इनफैक्ट वन ऑफ द लेसन दैट आई गॉट बिग लेसन ऑफ माई लाइफ वॉज दैट वैन फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई लाइड एंड वेंट टू वॉच अ फिल्म लाइंग टू माई मॉम दैट आई एम एट अट कैंड फिल्म वॉज इट नो नॉर्मल फिल्म ओके या विच फिल्म वॉज इट आई थिंक इट वॉज हसीना मान जाएगी और समथिंग एंड आई लाइक टू हर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन अ कंप्यूटर प्रोजेक्ट Wow. to an elder cousin's house and uh, incidentally somebody my mom knew saw me in the theater and she embarrassed me so much my mom embarrassed me so much in the theater no no at home at home uh-huh. because she didn't confront me she you know in a very subtle way she made me feel so guilty about that lie you know throwing subtle hints that i had to confess. come out and confess that i i went to watch a film and that that day i realized there's no point So your mom played a number on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah completely. Okay. Um, another line that really stood out was, "Log kitne frivolous ho gaye." So I want to ask you guys: Do you feel love be frivolous ho gaye? Aaj ki generation mein, in the sense that it's no longer possible to have that you know Mughal Azam or or that Romeo and Juliet kind of love. Do you guys feel so? I think us zaman hai jab Mughal Azam bani thi ya when Romeo and Juliet was made. Isn't it that every love story was like that? Mm-hmm. Uh, such love stories comes once in a lifetime and i'm sure there there must be a love story in the new generation uh, and i think because now we have come into a category of a little older generation and there is a newer generation which is a cinema going audience uh, we probably don't really understand their conflicts too much hmm. but i'm sure they uh, we call it frivolous my parents probably used to call my generation frivolous so it's just a generation to generation that we feel that but love is love you know you can't really change the feeling of love mm-hmm. you know you cannot manipulate it it is a very true feeling uh, so i beg to differ love i agree okay but you know your films have always sort of touched the younger audiences you know people have been able to associate especially with the kind of stories you tell and the way you tell them so in that respect do you have the pulse of you know the modern relationships see if you see my films uh, if you panchnama the characters were 21 22 years old hmm. how old were you when you made it i was 26 when i wrote it so fairly in the right. same year uh, so the first film i wrote was akashwani hmm. where the characters started from college hmm. they were 18 right i was younger i was 23 years old 24 years old when i wrote that film then came panchnama uh, again 21 years 21 was the age of the characters right. then panchnama 2 the age of the characters were Was twenty five, twenty six. They had been working for four, five years. 
Now in this film, the age of the characters is somewhere near 30. Hmm. So I'm very conscious about the fact that I may not know how an 18 year old thinks right now. Hmm. So my characters are also slightly aging. Okay. In an age group where I still believe that I understand how the thought process is, how the conflicts are, how the stories are. Hmm. Having said that, you being a filmmaker, it's not that you wouldn't make a younger love story. I will, but I'm saying I'm very conscious old. about it at this moment. Hmm. Because I know that if I want to make a love story about 18 year olds, I will have to uh, go into their world, associate with them, hmm. listen to their stories. Because I, uh, I'm not sure that I completely understand their language anymore. Okay. Right. But I know for sure that there is a universal language of cinema. See, when I'm telling a story of a 30 year old, they are also seeing that story Keeping in mind that it's a story of a 30 year old. Hmm. They are also not expecting a 30 year old character on screen to behave like he's 18. Hmm. But then, as you said, the universal language, whether it's a rom-com, whether it's a serious film, that sort of cuts across and, and gets associated with, even with an 18 year old. Right. right. See, when I say universal language, actually, I think I'll, as long as the feeling is right, as long as the hmm. emotion is right, as long as they can feel your story. They can believe it. They can believe in the love that two characters have. Hmm. They might not have the same love story. Right. They might not speak in the same language. They might not have the same conflicts. But they'll buy that story. Right. It just has to be honest enough. Honesty, perhaps, is the key. Okay. Um, interesting thing that happens in this, uh, at least through the trailer, was you know, Shraddha's character is sort of saying... The perfect breakup, the idea of the perfect breakup is that, you know, the guy's family should say all the fault is with the guy. So, Ranveer, has it ever happened to you? You've been painted as the bad guy in your relationship. Always. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> no comments. Some comment. No comment. No comment. That's my comment. <laughs> okay. Tamasha, rock star, ye jawani hai diwani, aur ab tu juti mein makkar. <clears throat> Why does love always happen in exotic places, mm -hmm. your characters? I think cinema is such a medium that when an audience comes, and especially when you're making commercial cinema, uh, you have to give them various aspects which they enjoy watching on screen. Hmm. You know, you give them romance, you give them comedy, you give them drama, emotion, action. You take them to a place where even the location looks pretty. I remember Amir Khan was telling me that locations are a key in any film. You have a good location, audience loves seeing a new location on screen. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I mean, there are certain films I've done where we've gone to a location to shoot which really didn't need to be there. But I think in certain films, a location plays a very important character. Hmm. Where Tu Juti and Makar is, it's, it's a very integral part of the story that they go to Spain. Uh, it's a 20-25 minute chunk in the film. Uh, that much? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we decide to do films because we're going to exotic locations. Hmm. I mean, that's Sone Pe Suhaga. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's nice to, you know, see a new location on screen. Love, you were talking about, you know, younger audiences. How important was it for you to bring Ranbir and Shraddha together for this film? Because they both are, you know, heartthrobs for the younger generations, whether it's the social media. He's not on social media, but nevertheless. So how important was it for you to bring these two guys together? So more, more than the commercial aspect of the whole thing, the, I always believe that a love story needs a fresh pairing. Hmm. Because, see, what happens is that there is only there are only so many ways he can look at a girl. So if, he can't, if you can't change the way he is looking at the girl, change the girl. Hmm. Okay. It will at least feel new. Why? Because the reaction would be different. Hmm. Energy will be different. Right. Because yeah. then there will be some, something new to it. And because of that new reaction, there is a great possibility of you finding something new in him. Hmm. And in a love story, it always works... See, a love story works through the girl. Okay. It, it's a set rule. Hmm. Because only when you love the girl that the hero loves, that you believe in the love story. Interesting. You've almost touched upon my next question. I had to ask you that every film, your heroines or your lead actresses, the character per se, will always have a grey shade, you know. They're always sort of hustlers. They're not, you know, they're not that traditional arm candy. There's something, there's an edge to them. Is that deliberate? See, is that deliberate by design? in the sense that it makes them more interesting. Hmm. Right? Uh, sometimes pristine is boring. Hmm. I jokingly say, but at some level there is some truth in it, that Pyar Ka Panchanama is a film about women empowerment. Okay. Okay, because 
what I tried to show was that women now in today, today's society are in a position where they can harrow you. Hmm. Okay, they, they are not the damsels in distress anymore. That was True. not the intention of the film, but that's a, you know, that's a take. One of the conversations. Right, but that's true. Hmm. Aren't we tired of uh, watching plain Janes? Hmm. I'll go to you, Ranbir. <coughs> While I was interviewing Alia for Darlings, one of the answers that really sort of took off even on social media was I asked her what is Ranbir's strength as a person. And she said it's his silence, that he doesn't need to explain anything about himself to anyone. I'm going to pose the same question to you. What do you think is Alia's strength? That she can express what she's feeling. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, and very genuinely express what she's feeling. I think she's got a, a great connection between her mind and heart. And she's, and she's being able to actually tell it in words. Uh, and I think that's a very admirable quality. Is that sort of the bonding factor between you maybe, two? Maybe you are the quiet and reserved yeah. one? Maybe, yeah. Yeah? Okay. I have to ask you this question also. What memories do you have of that... That video that recently became viral for national integration, which in which you feature with your father, Sonam mm -hmm. with her father. Yeah. So Subhash Bhai, I think, directed yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. do you have any memories of this? I do, actually. Awesome. I do. Uh, I mean, it was the first time I was facing the camera. I was very shy. Uh, I remember as a child, like, uh, my, my father never took us to shoots. We were always kept away. Uh, the couple of times that I had gone to his shoots, we were always bored, you know, because it was the same thing happening again and again. Never understood what was happening. Uh, but that shoot, I remember it happened in my bungalow. We were still making that house, Krishna Raj. It wasn't complete, so we went to shoot there. And uh, I was seeing my father sing, and there was a camera here, and Subhash ji was there directing, and I was very shy looking down. Uh, so yeah, I have a memory of it, but I have a memory that makes me feel very shy. Yeah. How old were you when this happened? I must be around five or six. Okay, nice, yeah. nice. Final question, do you love? Not sort of taking into account the films that you've produced, only the films that you've directed. <coughs> Akashwani Ho Gai, Pyaar Ke Panchnama Tu, Sonu Ki Dudu Ki Suti and uh, Tu Juti. What is your obsession with love stories? Aisa life mein kya hua tha love mein that you are still sort of looking for those answers? I think he was very upset that his parents called him love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you see my films, uh, I'm not looking for answers, I'm answering questions. Okay. I'm providing them. Mm -hmm. Right. So I... I'm trying to make a few statements here and there. Right? They're all different kind of love stories. They're all different aspects of love. They're all different stories. Hmm. So no as a inert obsession with like nothing, love per se. Nothing. I, we were supposed to do an action film together. Achha. So, but somehow it, it's gone into the love story. <laughs> Sucked us, this story. <laughs> it had to be love. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you thank for joining you. us. Thank Adisha. you so much. Thank you.